Hi, in this video we are going to introduce if statements. So, do you remember if statements in Carol? Well, JavaScript has if statements too. And we've been learning a lot recently about Boolean expressions and this all sort of builds up to if statements. So the format of an if statement, the general form, is if and then paren, open paren, and then some Boolean expression and then close paren, and then an open brace and then whatever code gets executed only if that boolean expression evaluates to true. Uh, the code between the brackets get executed. And then similarly we have an if else statement. So if that boolean expression is true then the code between this first set of braces gets executed. If it's false then the code between the second set of braces gets executed. So let's uh, write our first program with the general if statement. We'll, we'll read a number from the user and we'll print uh, only if the number is negative. So, var number equals read int, got a number from the user. And then if that number is less than zero, we will print line number is negative. So notice this right here is just a Boolean expression. We had previously been saving those in a variable, but right now this is either an expression that will evaluate to true or false. If it's true, then we'll execute this code. So let's run our program. Okay, if the number is negative 10, we see that we get number is negative. But if we run and we type, let's say four, we don't get anything printed out. Let's look at another example. Here, I'm going to read a line from the user and enter, uh, have the user enter their name, and we say if the name is equal to the string Jeremy, then we'll print out a great name. So I've written up this program, and we can just see what happens if you run it. So if I run and I have the name Sam, nothing gets printed. But if I run and type the name Jeremy, we'll print out great name. So this is just another example of a Boolean expression in an if statement. Let's look at some more examples. Now we're going to look at a slightly more complicated if-else statement. So what we're going to do here is read a number from the user and um, figure out whether or not that number is even or odd and then use an if-else statement to print out the proper message. So let's go and write this up in our code editor. Okay, so we'll say var num equals read int we'll get a number and then we'll say if num mod 2 equal equal 0 the print line number is even else the print line number is odd okay so this is pretty similar to what we had before the most confusing part right here is our boolean expression so What's happening here is we're taking this number and we're saying mod 2. Mod 2, remember, means divide by 2 but take the remainder. So we're checking if the remainder when you divide by 2 is equal to 0. And if it is, then we'll say that number is even. Because any even number, since it's a multiple of 2, divides evenly by 0. Otherwise, we'll say the number is odd. So let's run our program and let's type in 5, an odd number which is, we see is odd, or else type in 10, which is even. Okay, uh, here we'll do one more program that will test an if-else statement. So let's look at this one in our code editor. Okay, I've already written it up. What we're doing here is first declaring a variable called secret password which I set to abc123 not a good password and then we're gonna read uh, a password from the user and save it in a variable called password then what I'm gonna do is test if password equal equal secret password okay if those two variables are equal then we'll print that the passwords match otherwise else we'll print that the passwords don't match and note that you can have multiple lines of code in, you know, in between the if or else, but here I'm only having one. So if I type the password maybe hello, you know, that's, that's not the correct password. But then if I type abc123, we see that the passwords match.